So hey everyone, welcome back to another Modern Warfare video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to complete the new supply run contract in Warzone as fast as possible. It gives you some really valuable rewards, so I definitely would not skip out on this contract. I'd be doing as many of them as you can in your games. That's why I'm doing a video on them today. I'm going to have lots of tips on how to do this contract, so make sure you stick around to the end of the video so you don't miss out on any important tips. And feel free to like the video if you found it useful and subscribe with your post notifications turned on so that you don't miss any of my upcoming Modern Warfare multiplayer or Warzone videos. I've got a lot more coming. So feel free to do that if you guys want to. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. So just a quick recap for those of you guys that do not know. Contracts are obviously in-game missions that reward you with things like cash, loot, XP, intel, stuff like that. One contract is allowed per squad at any one time and obviously you can either complete that or fail it and then move on to do another one. So you can't do more than one contract at any one time. Completing contracts will increase your contract bonus level and this determines the level of the loot or cash earned from contracts. So the higher the level, the better rewards when doing these kind of contracts. This applies to all contracts, but obviously we're going to be talking about the supply round contract today. If you're not sure what contract level you are, it's the number on the left hand side of the HUD below the circle collapse timer. It starts off at level 1 with no bonus and goes up to level 6 at 180% bonus. So that is that, but what is this new supply round contract and how do you guys complete it? So you see that the supply round contract show up on the map as little timers. That's their icon. And what you have to do is you have to race to a nearby buy station within two minutes. Now it won't be the closest one to you often, it'll be a few buy stations away. On average it's probably about four to five hundred meters, but I've seen them go up to 1500 plus meters. So sometimes you're gonna have to travel quite far, it just depends on where you are on the map. Obviously any of your teammates can activate this and you can all go for it. So it doesn't just have to be you that starts this contract. The rewards you get are $1,000 per player. Obviously it depends though what your contract level is. So the higher the bonus level, obviously the higher the cash and so on and so forth. You also get um, XP and weapon XP as well, so that's good. But on top of that, if that wasn't enough, you guys also get some really cool things like discounts on store items. So if you're playing with more than one player and let's say that they die on your team, so let's say they've gone to the gulag, they've tried to win but they lose, and therefore they can't respawn, you guys can get a free teammate revive if they're dead. So it normally costs you four and a half thousand, now it will cost you nothing if you do this contract. So let's say if your teammate dies, it's often worth going for this contract. You can also get yourself a free self revive kit so that if you go down you can automatically revive yourself, so that's quite useful as well. So it technically gives you another life in Warzone. You can also get discounts on the other equipment in the store as well, so like armor plate bundles, gas masks, kill streaks like UAV and cluster strikes and stuff like that and also munitions box and armor box as well. The discounts you get obviously vary slightly in plunder, but those will be the main ones for the main battle royale warzone modes. So those are the rewards, it's pretty cool, you get a lot of cash, XP, weapon XP and you can get all of these discounts as well. So next question is how do you do it as best as possible? So here's what you want to do. Normally these can take quite a long time to do on foot so if you have to start the contract and then run to where the buy station is, like I say normally minimum will be about four or five hundred meters at least but it can go much higher than that the distance that you need to travel. So I definitely recommend having a vehicle nearby. What I'd actually recommend is getting a vehicle ready before you start the contract. So let's say you just spawn in Obviously it's probably best to do these as soon as you spawn into the map because that way you can get more stuff. But let's say you spawn in and you want to go for this contract, I recommend you guys find a vehicle first. Now my suggestion to you guys would be to use the ATV, they're small, they're mobile and they're very quick compared to the other vehicles as well. So I definitely recommend an ATV which is those little quad bikes. So get one of those, then drive to get your supply run contract. Once you've picked up that contract, you want to mark the buy station that you need to get to on the map as quickly as possible. Then you want to quickly try and plan out the route in your head as fast as you can. So for example, if you're on a certain place on the map and the buy station is behind you, obviously you need to either reverse or go around in a circle to go and get to it. So it's common sense obviously, but just plan a route out in your head. You then obviously want to drive there as fast as possible. You obviously have to often dodge past buildings and different objects in the environment and go up and down hills and whatnot. So just think whether it's quicker to go along the main roads or up on top of the hills, if that would give you a shortcut. And then all you need to do is you need to get to the buy station and um, step within that yellow ring around the buy station in less than two minutes. 
from when you started the contract. But a very cool point which I recently found out was that if you're pushed for time and you don't have enough time to actually drive to where the buy station is, get off the vehicle and then go to step into that yellow circle around the buy station, you can literally just drive your vehicle straight into the ring. As long as your vehicle touches the yellow ring around the buy station, you'll have completed the contract. So let's say you only had a few seconds left and you're just about to get there. You don't need to get off the vehicle, drive up to the ring and once you get into the ring, like I say, you'll complete the contract. Now at that point, obviously you can get off and uh, go to the buy station and choose whatever discounts you want you can buy multiple things as well with the discount but you need to use it then and there and you can do this contract as many times as you want so i definitely recommend doing this it's an easy quick way to get lots of weapon xp xp cash and an increased bonus level as well as a lot of cool gear as well i definitely recommend this for surviving longer in warzone because obviously you know free self revives or team revives they're very very valuable so if you guys found this useful be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future Modern Warfare multiplayer or Warzone videos. Let me guys know if you've got any other tips for this contract. Hope you found this useful though. Feel free to check out any of my other videos. And cheers guys for watching. I'll see you all on the next one.